Hi, Ambassador Girl Scouts, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be earning our dinner party badge. To do that, we're gonna take a few steps on how to create a meal. First, we're going to create a menu. I've taken a notebook, and I've just written down the menu and the theme. And then I'm going to just write what I'm gonna have for appetizers, a salad, main course, and dessert. Go ahead and take some time to brainstorm. This can be anything from food from another country to local cuisine, your choice. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make a budget. So with this budget, I just used a template from Excel and then I'm going to input what I, my food item, what I think it's gonna cost and what it actually cost. This way I can keep track and I will know how much I'm actually spending. Your budget, your, your first budget is just an estimated draft. So if the numbers aren't correct, that's fine. As long as you go ahead and keep it in for later. You can keep it for later. Finally, after we've gone and made our budget and we've shopped for everything, we're going to go ahead, we're going to make a schedule. With this schedule, I have, I've written it down on my notebook. When people will come in, when the appetizer served, the salad, the main course and desserts and cleanup. And remember to thank your guests for coming. My timeline starts at 7.15 p.m. and cleanup will start at 10 p.m. Yours may be different. Maybe you're serving a lunch or a brunch. Make sure that when you, that you know how long everything is going to take to cook and to place out. Don't forget that people it may take some extra time because they're talking in between courses. So it's okay if your timing goes a little bit longer, but just know that that is a possibility. Now that we've scheduled it, we're going to imagine how to present our food. So we have our theme. Let's go and base it off of that. We can go and look for supplies such as tablecloths, decorations, plates, and silverware. You may already have this or you may want to go and buy something. Take, look at your budget and see what you have available to you. Go ahead and if you're doing this with your troop, go ahead and see who has what. It's okay to take a quick inventory of what you have. And if you guys all bring everything, you don't have to use everything. Just know it's there just in case. And then you are ready to host your party. Take some time beforehand to set up and go ahead and have your ingredients prepped before you start the meal. This requires some extra preparation on your part the day of the party. However, when serving the meal, it'll be much easier. And there you have it. We have hosted a dinner party. We created a menu from scratch. We went shopping, made a budget, made a theme and deck and got our supplies. We timed our courses and we have served. There are, this will be great to go ahead and take pictures for all the fun memories and all the great food that you ate. All right, good job Ambassador Girl Scouts and congrats on earning your dinner party badge. Until next time, bye.